Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a low poly pine tree just like this one in Blender 2.8. So let's get right into it. All right, so open up Blender. You're just going to make a new file. So now you're going to go into edit mode by pressing tab. Then you are going to right click, subdivide it, then go into x-ray mode up in the top right. And then you're just going to select these points, box select those, and then move them. You're going to make this into sort of an octagon. All right, so once you've done that, all you're going to do is go into face select mode up in the top left, and then um, just select the top faces. You might want to turn off x-ray mode, select the top faces, and then press 3 on your notepad, or click this little X up here. Then, so you're going to extrude this by pressing control, right click. Then all you're going to do is hit scale, then just keep on control, right click, and scale. And then control, right click, and scale. And you're going to want kind of a bend in the tree if you want the uh, kind of look I have on mine. So once you do this, once you're all done scaling up your tree, go over here to the modifiers and you're going to add a bevel modifier. All right, so with the bevel modifier, all you're going to do is change the segments to two. The tree trunk is ready to export. Hit file, export, choose OBJ or FBX, name it. Okay, so next you are just going to insert a mesh part into Roblox Studio. In order to import it, right click and Roblox insert object, choose mesh part. And you're going to click on it and in your properties tab, go to mesh ID, click on this folder icon, go find your tree trunk. All right, so once you've done that, you can anchor this and just choose uh, a color. I brown and choose your material if you're doing that if you're doing low poly usually you aren't going to go for materials so otherwise just use smooth plastic so once you've done that go back to blender and uh hit x to delete this and then shift a we're going to add a, another cube hit tab to go into edit mode we're just going to subdivide this once just like before go into x-ray mode make sure that you're in vertex select mode up there in the top left and then just move these to form an octagon. All right, so once you've done that, go into face select, select the top four faces, turn off extra mode first, and then uh, you're just gonna delete those. All right, so now what you're gonna do is go to the top view, by pressing numpad seven or the Z button up here, and go into edge select, just gonna select these edges. And once you've done that, just press F to form a face, S, to scale, so you're gonna get that pine tree look. Add a bevel modifier yet again, two segment, then uh, you're ready to export your mesh. File, export, OBJ, or FBX. Swap to tree leaves. We'll just name it tree leaves. Uh, insert another mesh part, and then select it, find your file, so once you've done that, you're going to scale it up and then pick the shape that you would like. All right. Choose your color and properties. I'm going to swap material to grass and duplicate this. And I'm going to rotate it. You can do it however you want for this part. All right, so just make these smaller as you go up and uh, rotate them and scale them differently. We're just gonna have four there. We are going to make the top of the tree, obviously, because it's pointy. We're just gonna move these points so that they come to a point. Select them and then move them to the middle. Obviously, you can do this differently, but this is just the quickest way right now. And you may have to readjust them. Might are looking a little weird, so just hit File, Export, OBJ, name it, add a new mesh part, I'm just going to duplicate the one I already have, and I'm going to choose my file, Let's scale it up, and 
that's how you make a low poly tree in Blender. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading almost daily, and see you in the next video.